Okay, so the minimum requirement for actually going ahead with this tutorial is to be able to uh, obviously first of all access a local web server, have MySQL installed and obviously have PHP uh, installed also along with Apache or whatever server you choose. Apache is most common and it's easy, it's easy to work with on your local machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using PHP MyAdmin to uh, administrate our database if you like and it just provides us an easier way to do so. So um, you can download PHP MyAdmin and literally just um, copy that over to your uh, htdocs directory or, or whatever the directory name is called that you're working with and then you can just run it, log in with your credentials which is usually uh, either root as the username and nothing as the password or root as the username and root as the password but you have to check with um, with whichever package you use to install Apache, um, and MySQL and PHP. So we'll be creating our date, uh, our table in this in this part, uh, and inserting some records, and then just seeing how everything looks with our column names, and then we'll go into working with PHP and actually uh, extracting this information, if you like, from the database. So um, I've created a database called App. It's fairly easy to do. So let's go ahead and just delete this database, uh, and we'll look at how we would do this from the start. So as long as we're on the databases tab, I'm going to go ahead and create a database called App. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it now um, gives us the message no date tables found in database and I can go ahead and create a table. So I'm going to be creating a table called people and this is going to store records of just basically a list of people. So I'm going to in insert a couple of records here um, but I'm going to say uh, I have five columns. So the first um, the first field, so these rows here are, are columns or fields, whatever you want to call them. And the first is usually a unique identifier. Now, this doesn't have to be a numerical identifier. It could be anything. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this to auto increment. This AI stands for auto increment. And primary, uh, I want this as the primary key of the database. Now, we're not going to be delving into advanced database um, design or anything like that. But generally, um, having a... Um, an index in your database um, for uh, speed reasons and uh, the ability to just keep track of which record has which ident unique identifier. Um, for example, we're going to be entering a first name and a last name here, um, but that's not a unique enough information to identify a user. So an auto increment ID will be. And by auto increment, this means that for every record we insert, a pointer is kept of which is the next ID to be inserted. So you'll see that when we insert the first record, this will be at, at one the second record we insert will be at two and that's from wherever you insert uh, data from whether it be from PHP my admin from the command line or from PHP it doesn't matter as long as it's going into this database that field will always be auto incrementing so the other fields that we want to include here uh, are going to be data basically just data about the user so we're going to have a first name a last name a bio and we're going to have a record to say when this record was created or a field to say when this record was created. So for the first name, it's going to be a variable character. Uh, last name is going to be a variable character as well. And we need to define the lengths and values of these. So I'm just going to enter 25. So for the bio, I'm going to choose the text field because that's going to be significantly longer. And for created, I'm going to choose date time. And this provides us with a, uh, a specific format of date and time of when this, well, not necessarily when this record was created. We have to uh, specify that ourselves, but this is the format that it's going to be in or the type that it's going to be. So we don't need to define a length for the bio, but if we go ahead and hit save, that database has now been created. And you can see that we've got an empty result set. Now under structure, you can always keep an eye on the structure of your uh, of your database table. So we're just going to go ahead and insert a couple of records here. So let's go ahead and just type in a name here. You can see that PHP MyAdmin gives you a larger area here to insert. Now for the for the created at date, I'm not going to go ahead and choose with this date picker. I can simply use the now function um, in 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 uh, MySQL, which would basically generate and then fill this in for us. So there's no need to fill in this ID column. Absolutely no need. That will automatically be done for us. So let's go ahead and create one more record. And again, we'll choose the now function and that will populate that for us. Let's go ahead and click go. 
two rows inserted. So let's go ahead and browse the database table and you can see that we've got an ID of one next to Alex, two next to Billy and all the relevant data, including when this record was created. So now that we've created some test data, we can go on to actually connect to our database from PHP using the MySQLi extension and we can start to read data from the database and then of course start to manipulate it, delete records, add new records uh, and we'll be going into that a bit later on.